Hey guys, good morning. It is Arika Misha. It is Saturday morning and I'm just doing a little um, video um, just recording me in the kitchen on a Saturday morning. Typically on Saturday mornings I'm in the kitchen really early. Um, I'm cooking breakfast uh, for the girls. I usually cook breakfast every Saturday for my girls. I've always done it. I love doing it. Um, so I cook breakfast for the girls Saturday morning. Um, if I'm going to cook anything later on Saturday, I'm also trying to prepare that. Um, also, I'm prepping for Sunday dinner. So usually on Saturday mornings, I'm in the kitchen like trying to prep two, three meals at the same time. Just depends on how my weekend's going to go and what I'm going to do as far as dinner. But I do uh, cook the girls breakfast every Saturday unless I'm going out to run and do my coupon and my errands. Um, but other than that, I do, um, it's always been, not a tradition, it's just something I've always done for the girls, you know. Because a lot of times through the week, they're in school, and um, they usually fix a little quick bowl of oatmeal, quick bowl of cereal, so they don't really get a chance to eat a lot of hot meals through the week. You know how that goes, keeping it real. So on Saturdays, I like to cook a nice hot breakfast for them. So um, today, I am fixing um, some scrambled eggs, I got some bacon, I got some sausage, something simple, and I'll probably have some toast or we have croissants in there, whatever they want to put with it. But all right, I'll go ahead and let you guys hang out with me and tag along and see what it is that I do in the kitchen. Um, and I did say this wasn't going to be a cooking channel, so I ain't trying to tell y'all what to do in y'all kitchen, how to cook. I'm just going to show you what I do. Like I said, I'm going to keep it to what I do. I'll show you what I do. Um, I don't mind sharing. So, and I do cook a lot. So, I know I post a lot of my cooking on my Instagram channel. So, um, don't forget to follow me at Arika Misha on Instagram. Same as my YouTube name. So, I mean, I do a lot of cooking. I'm in the kitchen a lot. I'm like, you know what? I might as well record it. Whatever. I'm just doing what I do. All right. So, I'll let you guys hang out with me. All right, let's get you guys situated so you can see what's going on. All right. Okay, get you guys down here. And the eggs. I'm getting the scrambled eggs prepared. Make sure you guys can see. Okay. Just some. Shell and egg. Doing some scrambled eggs. Sometimes I do French toast for the girls. Sometimes I do my fried French toast, which I think is so good. If you've never tried fried French toast, you gotta try it it's so good it's just fixing it the same way you normally fix it i'll have to show you guys one day but yeah fried french toast is so good let me get some put a little salt in there not that much a little salt goes a long way a little, just putting a little salt in there i i used to put pepper in the eggs but the girls don't really like the whole pepper but do sometimes they don't I put a little parsley gotta get that green in where we can <clears throat> and I also put some milk in my eggs just a little bit not too much put some milk in my eggs helps fluff them once again I put the milk in the eggs it helps uh, fluff your eggs helps make them fluffy you can also put butter too but just tell me what I do get those scrambled up <clears throat> I don't beat my eggs to death. I just give them a little scramble, scramble. Make sure that milk's mixed in real good. Got my fork. Yeah, I got one of those fancy egg beaters. Got a little cute one. Just 
cute little fancy egg beaters. I got this from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I can use that for my eggs. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy. That's not good. All right, well, let's take that out. Oh boy. Alright, well, that's why I really like those little tiny egg beater things. They be tripping sometimes. But anyway, let's snap that little piece back on and move on. Let me see. I know I got another big fancy one. Let me see. Here's my, my real big fancy one. A little Betty Crocker one, too. You know Betty. Little Betty Crocker one, little fancy one. And I clean up as I go. So, yeah, I could use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can use all that. But you know what? I like using a fork. Fork gets it done. Just scramble, scramble, scramble. That's it. Good enough. Cook a little quick simple breakfast for the girls. All right, got our eggs all ready. Got the eggs all ready. You can put whatever else you want. I'm just showing you what I do. All right. Okay guys, we are back and I'm getting ready to scramble my eggs and I've already sprayed my pan with my favorite canola spraying oil from Publix. That's the canola cooking spray. I like using canola and I just sprayed my pan already. Might help if I cut my stove on, but yeah, okay. Here we go. Get ready. And I clean up as I go so my kitchen isn't dirty. So I like to cook and clean as I go. That's the best way to do it. Just clean as you go. Yep, it's getting hot. Let's get my fan on. Fan on. And I like to wait till I see my little see the oils starting to bubble as you can see the oils are starting to bubble wait for it to get nice and hot before I put my eggs in I like for it to get nice and hot Eggs in Give those eggs a minute to get on nice and hot in the pan. my eggs on high heat like I'll cut the heat up just to get the pan on nice and hot but because I don't want to burn the eggs and I definitely don't want to have a burn egg taste that's the worst so
and I always use a spatula, a plastic spatula, to um, cause you know I don't want to scratch up my Gotham steel pan. Hey Gotham, I love Gotham steels. You guys will see all of my pots and pans. Uh, they're mostly all Gotham. I like Gotham steel products. They old school, but you know what? They work. Gotham steel's been around for years. So, I like their cooking products. And I just take the spatula and I just kind of eggs around like that. Don't do too much. I just kind of flip them so they can stay nice and fluffy and not all crumbled up. Take my spatula and I just just flip them like that. Just use your spatula to flip them over. This is what helps your eggs stay nice and thick. And also with that milk you put in it, helps them stay nice and thick and fluffy. Yep. And then what I do, once the eggs get where they need to get, make sure you guys can see. I go ahead and I leave them. Let them sit for a minute so they can brown on that other side and then I'll flip them over and let that side brown. You okay, Maya? Oh. The girl's waiting on the breakfast. Waiting on the Saturday morning breakfast. Make sure you guys can see. You let them sit and you flip them over. They are already brown on that side. You just take your spatula, help flip them over. Now see this little stuff on the sides? I take that out. I don't like all that. All that stuff on the side. So, so yeah, you just take your spatula, flip them over. At this time now, I cut my stove off. Eggs are already done. So I'm just letting them brown on that side. Letting them brown, kind of shaping them to hang out, stick together. Yeah, this little side stuff. I don't like that side side egg that gets on the side. I take that stuff off. Let me pick you guys up so you can see the eggs better. Let's see here. go the eggs cooking get y'all in the pot with them eggs scramble eggs easy simple and like I said I flip them over on the other side and they'll get brown and nice and brown on the other side I got my plate over here ready for them. Got my plate ready. So, let me get you guys set up so you can see. Let me just put the plate over here. Maybe y'all can see it better. Yep, that's better. Let's go ahead and get our eggs over here. Look at nice and brown on that side. Nice and brown. Nice and golden brown. Simple. Let's 
simple. Nice fluffy scrambled eggs. You guys another give you guys a good look at them eggs. Scramble eggs, look at them. Nice and hot and smoky. Ooh, yeah, look at those eggs. Nice. Y'all know I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in for you. There you go. Nice golden little salt parsley in them. Nice, simple scrambled eggs. You can add whatever you want to them. Cheese, the girls add cheese. They add all kind of stuff. So, give you guys a nice shot of those scrambled eggs. Yummy. I'm ready to eat right now. Scrambled eggs. It took like, what, two minutes? Scrambled eggs. You gotta take all day to cook breakfast. Hot breakfast, it don't take all day. Something quick and simple. You're doing something fancy, it might take a little while longer, but let's move on to the next thing. We got some bacon and sausage over there. Let's move on to that. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to move on to our breakfast meats. I have the all-natural chicken sausages. Let me see. Uh, by the Jones Dairy Farm family. Uh, let me see. That is four chicken sausage patties in here. I always get these from Publix. Um... And the girls love these. And these are the chicken sausage. Sometimes I get the beef too. But these are the, the round ones. Those. And I also have some Oscar Mayer bacon we are going to cook. I'm going to go ahead and cut the bacon in half. Um, because I'm going to be putting them in the air fryer. Let's see. Got an air fryer already. Got my air fryer. It's, it's quicker to cook the bacon in the air fryer. Sometimes I put it in the oven. But you know what? Since I got my air fryer. Hey. The, the key is to make it. You don't want to be in the kitchen all day cooking certain things. I mean, breakfast, that's something quick and easy. You know, as parents, we don't have time to be in the kitchen all day. I got other stuff I need to do. And I want to make sure, you know, the girls get their hot breakfast. So this is my air fryer over here. So I always line my air fryer with um, aluminum foil to help keep it from getting so messy. I'm going to show you guys. I always line my air fryer with aluminum foil every time I cook makes it less messy and easier to clean up it doesn't hurt anything I've been using this air fryer for years and I use aluminum foil you can line it with aluminum foil I'm not gonna hurt anything so all right let me go ahead get this bacon cut in half and get the sausage get all that in the air fryer and um, I'll be back to show you guys when I do that okay guys as you can see I went ahead and cut my bacon in half uh, you know just scissor cut it or knife cut it cut it in half and I have lined my air fryer with the bacon Let's see if I can get in there for you guys yep I've lined it already with the bacon and I just put it in the air fryer put it in the air fryer and I set my air fryer to I'll leave it at 360 and I'll put it on about Ooh. I'll put it on about five minutes. Yeah, put it on five minutes in the air fryer and I'll check on it. It usually takes like seven minutes. I put it on for five, I'll check on it and um, see how much more time I think it needs and then I just put it to like maybe two or three more minutes. And the bacon's usually done in the air fryer in like five minutes, guys. Quick and easy, simple. That's what we're going for. Quick and easy, simple breakfast. We're not trying to be in the kitchen all day. Unless you want to. It's up to you. I don't. But, yeah, let me show you guys how I uh, cut the bacon again. I cut the bacon um, in half. And I just do that because it's easier to lay it in the air fryer. It's easier, quicker to cook. And then I'll just throw the uh, sausages in there. Alright, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. This is the bacon. How it's looking in the air fryer how it is looking air fryer cooks it quick in like seven minutes 
So, that's the bacon in the air fryer. Getting ready to take it out. Let's get some light on the bacon. Okay guys, we got some of the bacon done in the air fryer just to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the air fryer. Nice. And I cut it in half, it's easier for the girls. So, this is the air fried bacon guys. It's great, it tastes good. Give you guys another shot of those eggs. But yeah, let me come over here and uh, check on the breakfast patties that we've got in there, the breakfast sausage chicken patties. I mean, no, it's the chicken patties. Check on that in the air fryer. Make sure everything's going good in there. Everything looks good. They are doing what they need to do. And I just put those sausage patties on like five minutes. And we still have some bacon to cook. So after we finish those sausage patties, we'll go ahead and get this bacon finished cooking. All right, guys. It's breakfast, getting breakfast done for the girls. Hey guys, I'm back. I totally forgot to come back and show you guys uh, the breakfast completed. The girls have already came up and ate, so <laughs> this is what's left. But you know what? I do have the picture on my phone. Let me show you the picture on my phone that I posted on Instagram. So you guys can go. Don't forget to follow me, Arika Misha, on Instagram. This is the picture that I posted on Instagram of the, the uh, completed breakfast before the girls ate. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon around 3 o'clock and I am just sitting down to have breakfast myself. That's how it is some Saturdays for me. Um, I'm up or Saturday mornings, I cook breakfast for the girls. Um, and most of the time I'm cooking breakfast. Um, if there's something I'm going to cook later for um, dinner on a Saturday, if we don't eat out, um, I'm prepping that Saturday morning. I'm prepping Sunday's dinner. I always like to know what I'm cooking. Um, you know, before Sunday, I prep, you know, if there's anything, any meat I need to prep season, I make sure that's all nice and seasoned um, and marinate in overnight for Sunday or Saturday evening. Um, so this morning I had cooked um, bacon, egg, and uh, chicken sausages for the girls for breakfast. Um, I also marinated some shrimp. I'm cooking curry shrimp, some curry codfish, um, and I'm also going to do some curry turkey um, just to have a different meat because sometimes the girls don't always want to eat seafood. So just to have a different option. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with some white rice. See how that turns out. Of course, I'll film that and record that for you guys as well. Um, but like I said, it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, and I'm just now sitting down myself after getting everything prepped, all the food prepped and prepared for, um, you know, Sunday or whatever my weekend holds. Um, yeah, it's usually around this time where I get a chance to sit down and eat myself. I kind of nibble as I cook, so I mean... You know, I kind of grab a piece of bacon, eat a little bit of eggs, you know, so I kind of nibble as I cook. I always do that, so. But, yeah, I'm just sitting down to eat. The girls are finishing up their chores. Um, I've got some cleaning to do myself, so I'll make sure I'll do, like, a little quick clean with me video. I'll also record, you know, the girls doing some of their chores as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that for you guys as well. I'm new to YouTube. I've only been on YouTube a month. Um, so October the 1st, I launched my first video. So I guess actually I've been on YouTube two months now. So, um, you know, I'm not used to the whole vlogmas thing. So I figured what I do, um, I would try my best to upload every day. Um, cause there's always something, you know, I'm doing cooking, cleaning something, doing something with the girls. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Try to upload every day. Um, I don't know won't really call it vlogmas just in case there's a day that I can't record or I can't upload or you know but I will do my best to make sure um, I'm uploading every day try to keep my videos down to 10 minutes you know that way I won't be all night editing yeah and that's the thing about me I don't want to be up all night editing I'm just I just don't want to do that I mean a lot of youtubers you know say that how they don't like the editing it's too much so I've been keeping my editing you know to a minimum I mean certain things um, I don't cut out it's real it's reality so I don't cut things out um, but yeah that's what I do I keep it down you know to a minimum uh, I try to keep my min my videos to at least 10 minutes sometimes they go a little longer than that sometimes they do 
but hey, it is what it is. And right now I'm sitting down enjoying my breakfast that I cook for the girls, well, for all of us. And uh, finally getting my first uh, sit down and relax moment of the day. So I'm gonna sit here and relax, watch a little YouTube. Um, and just you know enjoy some quiet time to myself um, enjoy my breakfast eat my breakfast and you know and just relax and have some time to myself and that's what I'm doing right now me time gotta have me time guys you know you gotta have that time where you, you, you sit down by yourself and you know you just relax and who saw take a deep breath so that's what I'm doing now. Um, eating my chicken sausage and my eggs, and my bacon out of the air fryer. Turned all good. Make sure you guys go watch that video. Um, I'm uploading of the breakfast. Hello. Yeah. yeah. You guys can just hang out with me for a few. I guess I'm enjoying my breakfast. I'm sure I'll just add this clip with the breakfast video that's what I'll do no my little own private mukbang <laughs> well, yeah. Saturdays I'm using if I don't go out early Saturday morning couponing um I'm up Saturday morning early prepping for dinner breakfast or whatever it is i need to do for the weekend you know trying to get youtube footage so i can edit and get that uploaded but uh, i'm always doing something guys i'm always busy always doing something i got three girls no that's enough to keep you busy right there and not only that i got myself so today i just did a little light makeup I didn't do any foundation. I just did like a powder. Mm, I did my brows and I did like a little light gold with the, the brown with the gold overlay. And if you guys haven't watched my um, Let's Chat and Do Our Makeup video, make sure you go watch that. I do my makeup for you guys in that video. Make sure you go watch that. And don't forget to follow me at Erika Misha on Instagram. Make sure you guys are doing that. So. Right now, I'm just enjoying this breakfast that I cook. Mm. Taking a deep breath. I have, let me show you guys. I've got, I've got my side door open over here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yep, I've got the sliding door open. Getting some fresh morning air. Love hearing the cars go by. I love that. Hmm. Sitting here at the table. Like I said, just enjoying myself. I don't know what the girl's doing back there. My oldest daughter, she's off today, so I'm sure she's relaxing, enjoying her day off. She was up earlier eating breakfast. The girls were her sisters, so I don't know what she's doing back there. Those little ones, you know, tell them what they doing. Maya, um, that's my 14 year old. She has some school projects that she's got to do. So after she got this morning, got her breakfast, got her shower, did her chores. She's doing her school project that's due. Well, she's working on that. And the little one, probably harassing her, giving her a hard time. I don't know what she doing. But, me time. Give you guys a bite of that bacon. Mm, look at that bacon. Mm, mm, mm. Air fried bacon is so good. Mm, mm. Turn it around, y'all. Go ahead and give y'all a bite of that. Mm, mm. Air fried bacon is so good. Cooks in like five minutes. I love it. Quick and easy. Mm. I love cooking breakfast for the girls. I love looking back at the mouse. Typical 
Saturday, guys. If I'm not out running errands, doing stuff around the house, and especially with COVID and everything, we don't move around like we used to. You know, in Florida cases, our Florida cases are going back up. So I'm definitely cutting the whole going out. I've kind of cut back on all that because it's getting out of hand again. So. My little, I got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This big pink container. I got it. Fill it with water. Make sure I'm drinking my water. Every day I like to drink at least one of those. Sometimes I may drink two. I may drink water all day. But definitely make sure you guys are drinking your water. So, all right. Well, it looks like I've been talking almost 10 minutes. So, I don't want to bore you guys. Um, I know y'all probably tired of looking at me. Maybe not. And today, with my little um, crochet bun, I did the half up, half down, guys. So cute. I think it's so cute. I'm going to keep it like this for a day or two. But I did the half up, half down. Let me show you from the side. Real cute. Turns out real cute. Half up, half down. Let me see if I can. Zoom in on my swirly swirlies for you guys. My edges. But okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go, and because this is probably gonna be a long video, because I'm gonna be including all the, the cooking, the breakfast, and all that in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.